Hi guys, it's Kai, that guy of the shit my quality. And today I've come to you with a small project I wanted to work on for a long time now, which is just a small park which I wanted to stream on YouTube. I tried multiple times before with some other channels and it never really worked out and hopefully this time it will be different. For this playthrough I essentially just wanted to focus more on roller coasters than just being full and realistic. As you can see the parking lot I just started to work on is well, quite square and extremely small. It's just more of a suggestion of a parking lot being there than really a parking lot that's actually in any form big enough for the park we are going to build. But I really just want to well just get some things done like the idea of things. I don't necessarily want to spend half of my park space on a parking lot, but instead I just simply want to yeah, have it there just so you get the idea. You know what I mean? I don't necessarily want to just spend all the resources on realism, but instead I just want to create some nice roller coasters in a semi-realistic atmosphere. For the theme park entrance, I mainly got inspired by Carowinds, and I really wanted to get like a roller coaster through the um, entrance gate, or entrance bridge essentially. And I'm not sure what kind of roller coaster I want. Maybe a Beanem Hyper Giga, but also a Intamin Hyper could be a possibility. Maybe something else. I don't know as of yet. So I then just started work on a small guest relations building inspired by the one in Everland in South Korea. Um, nothing much, I don't even spend a lot of time really detailing on anything, I just want something there. Didn't even get this entrance area done or anything, I just wanted to start work on it. Because, as you could probably see for the title, the main attraction of this video is going to be the coaster we're going to start building soon. However, before that, I quickly just wanted to add a small entrance area. I wanted to give it like a rustic um, beach sort of theme around a small lake. Very self-contained, I don't want to give away too much because the park we're going to build should be kind of like a world showcase-ish park. Like, I want to incorporate some more like fantasy-esque themes, but still want to have the baseline of just different countries essentially. Oh well, I guess different cultures is more accurate. But I just wanted to start work on like a beach area that's not too detailed to kind of just act as a palette cleanser. Um, I also just created a really, really generic front gate for the park just to kind of yeah, cleanse your palette to be more receptive to actually detailed structures later on. And then just built a small railroad, the small train station um, right there because I really want to train through the park because I always tend to forget transportation rides with my parks when I build them and I didn't want to forget it this time. And as you can see then I immediately got bored of building a small picnic area and started work on the coaster. And for the coasters I always like to think outside the box and build some things that are just not in the game which in this case will be a Intamin wing coaster, or wing rider I guess, um, with a hydraulic launch. Definitely very inspired by Furious Baco in Port Aventura, um, but also very original since well, it's, it's one of a kind, or I guess two of a kind in that sense. In that case I just wanted to start off with just a small drop after the launch to just fully get into speed. And this ride is going to be very fast paced and won't have like any slow sections at all. I think it turned out that the average speed is like around 66 km per hour. And that includes a pre slow section and a break run. Maybe a bit ridiculous, but well, I'm like you'll be the judge of that. I really wanted to focus on airtime and also a little bit on inversions because I just simply think that these elements work great with wing coasters and like typically for wing coasters because of the seating arrangement you want to have some near misses in it and I got two in it as of now maybe I'll add more because I didn't really put much scenery in it though I worked a <laughs> I worked many hours on this let me just put it like that 
Okay, yeah. after this small section I wanted to get into, well, what's essentially the main element of this coaster. The, uh, well, big thing you see from the, from the entrance, which is a looping with a inline twist in the top. Not quite a non-inverted loop, but I quite like this style of looping because um, with a wing coaster you sit on the outside um, of the track, so you really get whipped around in a inland twist. Um, I had to, f well, botch my way through this looping a bit, but in the end I worked it out quite nicely and I think it was around that time that I also put um, up the uh, friction of the coaster, not too much, but to keep it a little bit more realistic because of course wing coasters have more drag than regular coasters because they're way more wide. Um, I just quickly wanted to add a uh, actual normal inline twist and kind of go into a banked dive which is, well, functions essentially a bit more like a wing overdrop. Um, because of course you don't really have those in intermins, but well, only one of us built, so then again, who knows? I just really like this element, the swooping kind of style. I think the wing coaster works really well for that. Not well for a lot of other things, this, in my opinion at least. So I, I don't really like wing coasters all that much, even though you can definitely do some really cool things with them. For the ending I really wanted to sort of get the Furious Baku ending with like a small turn over a lake. I was a bit short though on the other end so I had a bit of trouble connecting them and I kind of just threw two ideas at the wall and none of them really sticked. Um, so you will see me mess up two times just creating some really janky elements that don't quite work and in the end I just settled for going for a normal, uh, just a normal airtime home. Um, as you just could see, I actually just added a little bit of a hard line to the um, inline twist because we still want to have a little bit of it in there and I don't really like the in-game hardlining tool so I just do those custom myself. Um, though I will turn it down later on because I added a bit too much and it was really more of a barrel roll at that point. And um, here you can also see me try to add an inlet twist in there and it also kind of failed, didn't look right and I just thought it got too inversion happy, I mean with um, tree in there, in this very short layout, didn't really feel too much like a hydraulic launch coaster so I removed it later on again. And here you can just see me removing it and adding just a regular air time hill. The air time is actually very strong on this coast. I think the first is around negative 1.8 G and the second is negative 2 G, which is the same as Sky Rush, so <laughs> make of that what you want. And the acceleration of the launch is also quite good. I set it to 13 meters per second, which is um, just a little bit faster than Furious Barco. So it should be quite a forceful launch. I added it as a magnetic launch because for hydraulic launch you're going to need a yeah, well you need to be able to hook onto the catch car and the wing coast. I just simply cannot do that. Um, so I just added a magnetic launch and I specifically chose the um, gas lower Eurofighter model because first of all the, it has the Intermin um, style track design of just the tree spines and also because it has these dual magnetic fins for the launch, which kind of look like brake fins. Of course they don't move up and down for the launch. You can kind of just see me to a very fast POV right there for smoothness sake. And so I just kind of tried to fake those fins with it. I will later on actually add a visual reference for the launch, but I first of all just wanted to add a quick catwalk. Of course I don't like the in-game catwalks too much, I first of all thought about just retracing it with an invisible track from a VNM wing coaster, but I decided against it and just wanted to build a quick custom one, didn't think too much of it, I think it's, it's serviceable. Oh yeah, one thing I really wanted to add was a bridge with a, um, yeah, like, near miss element, that's what I was searching for. And I really figured around a lot with this bridge. It, it was quite a mess, but in the end, I, it worked out. Of course, I cut out a lot of stuff from this recording. 
it probably took me a few hours and a big cut right there because I wanted to add a show building and like Fewer Spark I wanted to theme it to alcohol because I just think it's very funny that it goes the theme to that. Um, though I will think more of like brewery instead of wine making. Um, mainly inspired by the brewery in Pilsen because I was there well, actually quite some time ago now but um, I was very inspired by this layout and I essentially just wanted <laughs> Well, essentially I wanted a very poorly maintained um, brewery just blowing up. I don't know how realistic that is, um, but I just think it's kind of fun and this type of thing a theme park would do definitely. I'm not quite sure with the theme because I always think it's more of a Mediterranean theme, this section. Maybe like Italian or something, but I don't really think a brewery really fits into that. Furious Baku with its wine gaming really fit more into this Mediterranean section, but Maybe I decided to re it later on because I already didn't add too much theming as of now. Uh, I just quickly then move on to putting a small station cover. Um, I later on switched the uh, yeah the, the end in which I wanted to put this little um, yeah, bridge over the track to get to the other side because of course wing low um, wing coasters have to load from both sides, which in game is simply not simulated. And here you see me just quickly move on to creating the hydraulic lounge. Um, of course, I have to fake it, and I just quickly use some basic geometric shapes to just get a basic layout and just edit a small cable. I actually painted the coast in this, this very blue color, like Furious Barco, but I didn't really like it too much in the end. I actually ended up changing the color, but you will see that later on. Here yeah, I wanted to start work on the uh, small lake, like Furious Barco has, and I also did a little bit of terraforming and tried to get a train to there. I want to start work on the other side of a Galantic like Greece section, Greece. Um, so maybe the Mediterranean theme would still be good to kind of bridge the gap between those. But who knows what's for now. Um, I don't know what to make for the section really because I kind of tried to add a train through there and you can later on see me struggling a bit with that. Not quite sure of the future of that, but we'll see. So here's <laughs> kind of what I spent the most part of my time working on, which is the supports for this coaster. And I really wanted to start work on realistic supports. And actually I downloaded this internet pack from uh, Makers Toolkit. And damn! It's really good. I, I don't know how I could live without it. it. It Of course it was a hassle creating all of these supports, but it was really fun as well to see how realistic I could make them, even though in the end it was this kind of grind. And I'm going to skip a lot of the building process, like you won't see me construct any more supports, um, simply because I kind of just well, thought it was boring. And here you can see actually the final result. You can see I put a lot of work on this, so let's start with a small POV. So, as you could see, I changed the color to this very, like, teal, I guess. Um, dark teal color, which I really like. And in the beginning, I, as you can see, I already did the pre-show. It was kind of just like a, well, wolf going over pressure, spilling alcoholics everywhere. And, well, then an electric fuse box just kind of makes it all explode. Nothing fancy too much, just something small, something nice to kick off the ride with. And so let's just end with a small overview of all the things built this small yeah, 
session right here. This entrance area, which is a bit small, really, but we'll work on it later on. This picnic area, which has no shades whatsoever because I just got bored of it and started building a big coaster. And of course, the main attraction the roller coaster. And I must say, I'm really happy with first of all how the supports in general turn out, but mainly the supports for the um, big looping because I, I, I just really like how these things look. I was very inspired by real life. And I really enjoyed this, so I hope I can make a second episode soon. See you then, take care and good day or good night.